Happy Friday, Chargers. Today is Friday, October 14th, the 288th day of this year. It's National Be Bald and Be Free Day. National Dessert Day. And National World Egg Day. It's DP News. And it starts now. now. The first Cal Math contest will be on Monday at lunch in room H27. They're hoping to beat Kate's school this year, so visit their website to learn more. Next week, there will be various dress-up days to help celebrate homecoming, like Twin Day and Decades Day. Make sure to dress up and show your Charger spirit. Volunteers are still needed for the Cancer Center walk and run this Sunday the 16th. Shifts are about two to three hours long and community service hours will be provided. Go to the Career Center if you're interested. Beautify DP is taking place tomorrow from 9 a.m. to noon. If you're interested in going, make sure to wear appropriate clothes for gardening and cleaning up and bring a refillable water bottle. Snacks will be provided by the PTSA and they will meet in front of the library. Remember, this can fulfill your NHS community service requirement. The Art from Scrap fundraiser is taking place tomorrow looking for volunteers for help with setup, cleanup, passing out refreshments, and etc. Volunteers are needed from 5 to 10 p.m. and can either work the whole time or choose from one of two shifts. Go to the Career Center if you're interested in attending for more information. Are you curious about what happens in theater class? Come to the EPAC at lunch today to check out their beginning of the year theater project. Go support your friends and catch the theater bug. USITT is having a movie night tonight in the EPAC at 6. They'll be watching Psycho and Young Frankenstein back to back. Be there. Seniors, this is really important. The Prestige Photographers will be on campus today in H30 starting at 10 a.m. and ending at 5 p.m. It is imperative that you get your senior portrait taken if you haven't already because this is your very last chance. And if you don't get it taken, you won't appear in the yearbook. Also, next week on Wednesday, seniors will take their class photo. Make sure you've got a group, have an appropriate word or phrase, and your shirts are ready. Also, on that same Wednesday, there will be a filming of the senior lip dub. That's all for us this week, Chargers. Now over to Caleb with the sports report. Good morning, Dos Pueblos. On Tuesday, our girls team destroyed the Dons. In golf, Hannah Cho shot a season low of 37, and Gab Gabby Minier put a strong medalist performance with 34 leading the way in the 203 to 276 win. In tennis, our girls won 12-6, leading the way were Katie Yang and Michaela Triplett, who helped sweep all of the singles matches. In volleyball, Camila Tamburini had eight kills and 15 digs, and Lorenzo Carachito had seven kills, four aces, and two digs. Also adding to the Chargers' success was the play of Dana Kaminich with eight kills and libero Allison Minich with numerous digs. On Thursday, boys water polo lost to Ventura 14-11, dropping to 2-2 two two in league this season. Senior Taylor Gustafson had four goals and junior Jason Tang scored two. Girls golf defeated Buena 209-257. Julia Forrester had a personal best and earned medalist honors, shooting one over 37. Bella Vigna followed close behind with a 38. They are co-channel league champs, and Dust Pulbus now has 18 channel league girls golf titles. Girls tennis won their first channel league title since 1984 with a 15-3 win over Buena. Speaking of Buena, football opens up league play tonight at home at 7, so make sure to be there. Tonight before the game, check out the face paint table in front of the gold mine, and after the game, be sure to head over to the cafeteria for the post-game party. Now here's a leadership video with more information. All right, Chargers, come to the game on Friday against Buena. We're white and pink. That's all I have for you today, Chargers. As always, I'm Caleb and we are DP. Now over to Sky and Lindsay with your weather report. Hey 
KDP, what's up? This is Sky because I'm Sky with the weather report. And I'm Lindsay with your surf report and joke of the day. Hey Sky, why did the monkey fall out of the tree? I don't know, why did he fall out of the tree? He was dead! Ha! <laughs> Good one, Lindsay. This weekend's forecast will continue to have cooler temperatures rage ranging around 60 to 70 degrees with 85% humidity. As for winds, they will be ranging from 9 to as high as 14 miles per hour. Big news this Sunday, there's a 20% chance of rain, so make sure you have your umbrellas and raincoats ready. In other news, Hurricane Matthew's death toll has now gone up to 1,045 victims and has broken flood records in the U.S. On October 7th in Florida, a peak surge of 9.88 feet above normal was measured at an NOS tide gauge in Fernandina Beach. Here's another joke for you, Sky. Why can't bicycles stand up on their own? I don't know. Why can't they stand up on their own? They're too tired. Ha! <laughs> the surf today will be its highest right after school with a strong swell, so that's perfect for some surfing. Tomorrow and Sunday will not be quite as high as today, but will be about waist deep around 5 in the evening. So make sure to hit the beach this weekend and tread the gnar, my friends. That's all we have for you today, DP. Have, have a great, great day. day.